Why is the snow white? Well, last night we had a really big snowstorm. Sort of a snow. Well, it was snowing a lot. Um, the snow blanketed everything with a serene and breathtaking white covering the ground. Um, now, have you ever wondered why the snow is white? Well, let me tell you a story first. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess and her name was Snow. She lived in a kingdom where it never snowed. She longed to see the snow. Now one day she was out ta talk oops she was out walking in the dark forest. She met an old woman who offered to grant her a wish. Snow wished to see snow for the first time, and the old woman granted her wish. Um, the old woman took the princess to the magical cave where she showed her a pile of glittering crystals. She then took out a wand and waved it over the pile of crystals, chanting a spell in a language that Snow did not understand. Suddenly, the crystals began to glow, swirling and dancing in a beautiful sparkling dance. As the princess watched, the crystals began to fall to the ground, covering the forest's floor. This is Snow. That old woman said. Snow looked at the snow um, and asked, I heard that snow is white. Why is the snow not white? Well, the woman smiled and said, It's not white because there's one thing missing, the sun. So the old woman took snow to the mountaintop where the sun shone brightly on the snow. As the sunlight touched the snow, it began to sparkle and shine and turned to become purely white. From that day on, Snow could see the snow whenever she wanted and she always remembered the old woman's words. The sunlight makes the snow truly white. So with that made up story, now you know why snow appears white. It's because of sunlight. Um, actually, different things have different colors because of the way they reflect or absorb light. Think of any object, we see them because of light. Um, now, when sunlight hits the snow, the snow reflects all the wavelength of the light in all directions. That's why the snow has a white appearance. That means that if you see a white object, it is because the object reflects all wavelength of light light. In, um, on the contrary, if an object absorbs all the wavelength of light, it appears black. Um, the black hole is an extreme example. A black hole has an incredibly strong mag gravitational field that absorbs everything including light. So a black hole is black. Um, which is why sometimes when you wear a black t-shirt out, it feels hotter than if you're wearing a white t-shirt out. Now, um, if an ref object reflects red light and absorbs other lights, it appears red. In general, an object's color is determined by the wavelength of light the object reflects. You may ask what makes an object reflect certain lights and absorb the others. Well, the answer is different materials have different atomic structure, um, electron configurations, and the arrangement of its atoms and molecules. Also, the interaction of lights with materials can also cause the lights to be scattered or refracted, which can further affect the appearance of the object. Furthermore, the specific color that we see are also a result of a way our eyes and brain um, interpret the wavelength of light. This is why different people and different animals may see colors differently or have difficulty distinguishing certain colors. If you want to know more about lights and how we perceive lights, make sure to check my previous videos, um, such as why is the sky blue and can cats see colors. Thank you!